Hey, it's Johnny Jones, and I'm here at home. Today, uh, I have this uh, Uniden PC68XL. Um, i got to show you this dynamic spouse control here in a minute, but um, today I wanted to talk about how to increase your receive by basically cutting down the noise. So you're not in technically increasing your receive, you're just allowing yourself to hear it better. This is very important if you're in a truck. Um, a lot of people don't ground their radios. And it's very important for a nice, well, it's not super important, I'll be honest. I mean, it's not one, you don't have to do it. But didn't that sound a lot different? And I'm not even earth ground, I'm just a, a human body for the, um, for the uh, uh, noise to go. So when you hook it to your truck or something, like the, your, uh, the body of your truck, you're cutting down your noise a lot. And you don't have to worry about using as much, you know. I mean, even the uh, noise blanker in A&L was on when I was doing that demonstration. So even on, it was very noisy. And that helped a lot. Um, i got to show you this dynamic spouch control that they have on this unit. <laughs> Isn't it great? That's beautiful. That's actually really cool. And that's the biggest issue with squelch. And that's why I'm going to try to make another video on how to put in a high pass filter. Or a low pass filter. A high cut, in other words. Um, because squelch, when, you're, when, you're, when you have your squelch on on your radio and you're trying to listen to someone, a lot of times they'll start talking and they'll key down. And you won't hear the first word. Sometimes you won't even hear the first two words, depending on how fast they talk, if you're using your squelch. So most of the time, squelch is only really used for people who want to monitor and you know a channel. And when come when someone comes on, they'll turn their squelch off. But there's still a lot of noise. So squelch is not a good way of managing noise. It's just it's just not. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a, a series on how to. Uh, well, not a series, but I'll show you what I have set up right here. This is a switch that I've uh, soldered with a capacitor on the end of it. And then I have... I made a lot of these alligator clips. I, uh, I ordered a bunch from eBay. And instead of getting that Chinese stuff that's already pre-wired with those thin little wires, I just did that myself. So I got those all cleaned up and tinned up and all that. Um... But I'm just basically going to show you how to put a, um, a um, high cut in a radio with a switch. Because I realized the last video that I made on that, how to make your radio sound better, was not a really good representation. Because I didn't show a before and an after. And it's dramatic, so I really want to show that. But something like that, or this dynamic squelch control, is something you really, really want to use. Um, instead of trying to rely on your squelch to block all that noise. And like I said, ground your radio. You can take uh, a piece of wire um, and just... I keep saying, um, so much. But you can either attach it to the back of your radio. You can attach it to um, the connector itself, the uh, bracket. You have a bracket that connects to the radio on each side. And uh, you can connect the wire to the bracket itself because that should work. Um, you can do so many things. Lay it on your naked belly while you sleep. Anything. But uh, it takes it takes a lot of the noise out of it. And um, I thought I'd make a video on that before I make a video on, uh, on the high cut, because uh, that seems way more important. Think about it. If you can just attach this thing to a body or earth ground... By the way, I mean earth ground, not sticking it to the negative terminal. Okay, that's reference ground. I mean earth ground. Somewhere for the... Uh, never mind. Don't stick it to the negative terminal. But uh, think about it. In, instead of having to go through the trouble of soldering and putting in a high cut, like I've done, not in this one, but another radio, uh, you could really just ground your you just ground your unit. And bingo, there you go. You cut down on so much noise, you gain so much more receive, you don't gain receive, but of course you can hear them better. Let's say you have someone just really in the noise. I mean, just right there on the cusp of understandable. Ground your radio, you might be able to understand. 
at a high cut, you'll really understand them. Heck, I'm going to work on having a uh, RF amp installed. I'm going to show you I'm going to show you how to build that one once I get all the parts in so you can actually really boost your receive. I mean really boost it. Uh anyways, this is Johnny Jones. I'm here at home with a with a Uniden PC68XL with a sweet ass dynamic squelch control. And uh I'll 